guys, welcome back to today's video. So as you can see, today I'm going to be talking about mono. So I'm going to be talking about like basically how what it is, how you get it, and like what it does to you. So yes. I have mono as we are speaking right now, and it sucks. If you have ever had it or you know someone who's ever had it, you probably know that they were out of school or they were sick for quite a while. I found out I had mono a little over a week ago now. Actually, it's been about a week or a week and like two days or so. Um, but I've actually had mono for about four to s for about six to seven weeks at this point. And as far as like how I got it, I'm not 100% sure. I have ideas as to like how I got it, um, but I'm not like 100% sure like how I got it. So a lot of people know mono as like the kissing disease and it can be a little bit embarrassing to talk about because like that is the stereotype around it is you get it through kissing. And yes, it's very likely that is how you get it. It is given through saliva. So yes, kissing is like a very common way to get it. Um, but that is not always the case. So you can get it through sharing utensils, sharing drinks. Um, if you like to like touch your mouth a lot, like you could totally get it like by going to the gym. Like there's just, there's so many ways to contract it. It's not even funny. Um, but obviously like, kissing is a common one. Normally like if your kissing partner has it, you'll get it. Like it's pretty guaranteed. Um, but that being said, like not everyone shows symptoms. Like you can have mono, but not like show symptoms that you're having mono and everybody's body like like reacts to it differently. Um, I know actually my mom was telling me that when she had it back in like grade school, she was out of school for like two months and she was like bedridden. Like she couldn't like swallow anything. She like had to take fluids for like a month. For me personally, like knock on my imaginary wood, I haven't really had it that bad. So the, I first was showing symptoms back, um, like I said, like a week and a few days ago. I was going to work and I woke up that morning with like a super bad sore throat. And so I knew like something was up. I didn't really think much of it. I was like, okay, like maybe I have another cold. Um, it will pass. But that day at work, I just felt so weak. Like my body like was tired. I just, I couldn't talk. My throat hurt so bad, like to the point where I couldn't talk. My voice deepened a lot. And I just, I could feel like the, like I had no energy. So I really didn't like think too much of it. Like I wasn't like, oh my God, I'm so sick. Like I really just thought I had a sore throat and I just was like getting sick. Um, so I went home early that day from work and I made sure I slept a lot and I slept a lot. My mom got home from work. My mom's a nurse and she took a look at me and she could tell that something was up. So she took my temperature and she told me I had a fever and then I was like, oh shit, cause I never get sick. So she took my she took my temperature. She was like, you have a fever. I really don't think you're going to go to work tomorrow because I was supposed to work the next three days straight. So the reason why I went home from work early that day was so that way I could like rest up and hopefully prepare to like go back to work the next few days. But that night I could not sleep at all. Like I had like hot sweats, cold sweats. Like I just kept waking up for no reason. My throat was killing me. So I looked white. My mom was saying like she said like you did not look good. So I didn't go into the work that day. I ended up sleeping most of the day. Again, like just hoping it would go away. And then my mom like was at work and she texted me and she's like, I just don't feel good about this. I'm gonna leave work early and take you to the doctor. So we ended up going to the doctor and she was pretty certain it was the flu. Like she just like was like, I think you have the flu. So then I get to the doctor and they, you know, were like checking me out and they're like, no, it's not the flu. We're ruling that out. Um, but we're going to do a strep test just to make sure it's not strep. So then that came back negative. And at this point, they're like, okay, maybe it's just like a cold. We'll just prescribe you some antibiotics and you'll be fine in a couple of days. And my mom was kind of like, hmm, I really don't think that's what it was. So then she's like, do you mind doing a mono test while we're here? And so they really didn't think it was mono, but they were like, yeah, sure, of course. So then they finger pricked me and they did a mono test and that and surely that came back positive. So at this point I'm thinking I'm gonna die because when you hear the word mono, you're like, yep, people are out of school for months, like they're pretty much dead. But no, it's not really what it is. It's just a virus that like gets in your body. It actually stays with you like forever, I'm pretty sure. Like I was doing research and I'm pretty sure like that it doesn't leave your body like you always have it. But once you get it, you're not really likely to get it again. Actually, a lot of people get it in like high school and college because like they are like kissing so many people. Yeah, so it's a virus, so you can't really take antibiotics for it because it's not gonna do anything. You, you kind of have to let the virus take its course and like get a lot of rest, drink a lot of fluids, you know, have a healthy diet and just relax for like until it's, it's done. 
So I got a doctor's note for a month, so I'm out of work for a month. Luckily I'm not in school right now, so I'm not like having to worry about that. I'm very lucky about the timing of this happening. Um, but like I was saying, it really hasn't hit me so bad. I had a sore throat for about like four or five days really, really bad where like it hurt to swallow. Like I really wasn't eating anything. I was mostly just having soup and ices and milkshakes and water, like things like that. But the one thing I will say about this virus that I have, mono, is that you always feel tired. Like your body always feels tired. And um, it's one of those things where it's like you feel fine and you look fine, but you're not fine. Um, and so I have been like going out here and there like a little bit just to try and get out of the house because I was like staying in the house for the first week and I've noticed that like I've, I push myself too much like I totally look like I'm about I totally feel like I'm about to pass out so um, it sucks it really does it's definitely like taking a toll on my body but I just need to like kind of let it do its thing so I do spend a lot of time taking naps during the day and um, I find myself a lot hungrier than I normally am. I don't know if that's like common or not. I think it is because like my body's trying to fight something off. So I'm sure my metabolism is a little bit higher right now. I'm also warm all the time. I don't know if that's another thing, but like I'm always like hot or cold. Like I'm never like normal. I always feel like I'm wearing too much clothing or no, not enough clothing. So it's, it's difficult, um, but at the same time it could be way worse. Yeah, I really just want to come on here and talk about it because I know when the doctor first told me I had mono, I started to cry. I was like, oh my gosh, like, am I going to be okay? And she was like, yeah, no, it's, it's fine, honey. But it is important that if you have mono to, like, let your body, like, fight it off. Make sure you get enough sleep. Make sure you're, you know, eating the things you're supposed to be, taking a lot of vitamin C, a lot of fluids, um, and really let it, like, take its course. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.